Hi there, Alana Corso, managing broker, co-founding partner of Dwell Realtors. Coming to you this week to answer the question, how long will it take us to buy a house? One of the questions I get a lot when I'm doing buyer consults is how long does the process take to find a house or a condo townhome, depending on what you're looking for? And there's several different factors that come into play here. The first thing is we have to kind of look at where are you coming from? Are you currently leasing or renting a place that has a you know end date for the rental and they'll only let you renew you know in one year increments or would they let you go month to month? Um, do you have the ability that you already own a home and you can, you've been pre-approved to buy before you have to sell your existing home? Um, are you a corporate relocation and you're moving, you know, to the mid peninsula for work and have a short time frame that, you know, you need to get here so you can start your new job, you know, or do you have to sell your existing home? Um, in order to buy your next place. Um, and in that sense, would you only potentially have, you know, close of escrow plus, you know, whatever rent back that we've been able to negotiate for you. Typically the longest rent back you can get in when you're selling your home is about 60 days. So you have 60 days plus a uh, close of escrow. So that might really determine it. So we look at those and figure out what is your personal situation for the time frame, And that will dictate a lot, like I said. So the next factor comes down to how picky you are. And um, some people are pretty, you know, easygoing and just have very, you know, their, their wants list is um, maybe smaller and it's more comes down to location and bedroom bathroom count and you know maybe some kind of high level specifics um, which you know maybe is aren't so hard to find and there are several you know say you're looking for you know a three two three bedroom two bath home and you know a few different cities uh, along the mid peninsula that will be, you know, easier to find than if you're like, I only want a three bedroom, two bath home in the flats of San Carlos. Um, that will, you know, it's a limited pool and, you know, there may not be as many of those that come on the market than um, if, unless you were looking in several cities, the San Mateo, County typically has about two months of inventory um, on average for you know most of the major cities. So there isn't tons of inventory, um, which you know will dictate how it is. And if you're super picky, it might take you a lot longer. I mean, some some buyers they may have a home that they already own that they don't need to sell, like I mentioned before, before buying their next place. And they have the luxury of time. And if you have that time and you can be picky and you are looking for specific targeted neighborhoods or specific lot sizes, um, you know, it could take you, I, I've worked with some buyers for several years where they are, you know, passively looking for that right place. And, you know, they're categorized it as their dream, dream home or dream lot. And, you know, when you have that luxury of time, it might take you that long to find the large flat lot, you know, in one of your targets target cities, flat lots, high, highly desirable for a lot of people and large. So in large on the peninsula, which in most parts of the country would probably be viewed as small, but I would say anything kind of north of 8,000 square foot flat lot is, is large. Um, again, probably sounds very small to most people, but that's a pretty good size backyard for, um, our lots. You know, if anything's approaching half an acre to, I mean, if you could get a, an acre lot, we interest, we recently had a sale on a you know coveted street in Edgewood Park, Edgewood Road. Uh, it was an acre parcel. They ended up getting five offers, and it sold for recently closed for five point three million dollars, all cash. So there's coveted, you know those those large lots are coveted and obviously go for a hefty premium. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to what is best for your personal situation. And I can help you work through all of that. And that's what my job is. Um, you know, if you need to buy a house quickly, we're going to be out looking at property, uh, you know, frequently looking at several different things all together at once and uh, to try to get you to meet your timeframes and your needs and your ideals. 
uh, if you have time, we're going to, you know, look as you, as you have time and as you, you know, I ping you with things that I know about that are coming on the market and might be a good fit. And I always say to all of my buyers, the more time I spend with you physically looking at houses and hearing your feedback of what you like and dislike about a home will help me narrow it down so that we only really see houses that meet your criteria. And it kind of helps kind of push all those houses that are, you know, not on your, wouldn't it, wouldn't it meet your criteria? Like why waste our time going to go see them? So uh, if you have any questions about the buying process and the, and the time commitment for you, um, you know, reach out to me anytime. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have and kind of hear what, what you are looking for in, the, in, in buying your home. Uh, talk to you next week and thanks so much for tuning in. Oh,